What's up YouTube, that's well Beats, back with another video, if this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat, alright, what we doing today, this video right here is an update to my last video that I dropped, where I couldn't figure out how to install the flex beat, okay, so let's go let's get it that's what we doing we updating that video and showing you how to get the vst2 instead of the vst3 all right let's go let's get it all right what's up y'all so I reached out to in music and explained what was going on I couldn't install the VST2 into the MPC software so I explained to him that you know I'm trying to install it I you know purchased it installed it and it's the MPC wouldn't pick it up because it's a VST3 file so they reached back out to me and they sent me a um a picture of something that of the um the path location right where i need to let the vst search for where i need to let the mpc search for the vst but my issue was i don't save no vsts on my c drive right so that's the issue the the vst2 automatically get installed on the c drive which you don't want to do that because vsts take up a lot of space and your c drive is where your operating system and stuff is at right so you don't want that to be too cluttered so i explained to him that listen i install my stuff on a ssd hard drive and i you know send it off to the external the vsts all every vst that i have i put it on the external hard drive right so they sent me a picture and asked me to make sure that I scan this uh, right here. Make sure I scan this uh, path location right here. And that's the issue is on the C drive. So what I did was I went into this right here. I went into this path and took the, the, uh, the VST.dll file. The .dll file took that and brought it over to my path on my on my um my external drive where I installed it. So this is this right here is what the path looked like. When you install it, it looked like this. But this right here, this is the VST2. That was never there. It don't install there. So what I did was went to this path, took this file and drag it and drop it in here, and then I rescan the um for my plugins into the um, mpc software i rescanned it then when i rescanned it then it popped up and i was like okay and now i'm able to pick it up without using the bridge software that i was going to show y'all how to use but since this is there i don't have to make that video right now right so the bridge software is just with vst3 which is a little bit is not complicated but is a more is a lot of work to get it to actual work for vst3 right so now already i have the um you have to go to vst a car professional and right here now it loads up now I load up regular just like any other um, VST so to recap you have to go into this path right here if if you install your VST on external hard drive like I do this is the process that you will have to do you will have to go in here and grab that DLL file and then bring it over into wherever you install your um folder that you installed on your ssd drive for the flex beat you just drag that dll file and drop it in there all right so that's it for today that's just an update for my last video that i made all right so i'll catch y'all in the next one man this was just a quick update all right so let's go let's get it and for those people that said show me how to do it i appreciate it man let me see if i can figure out who it was it was two of them that said show me how to do it so i know those two watch my videos straight through all right so shout out to uh dj nick nordy he was the first one to say it i don't know if i'm saying your name right but shout out to you thank you you was the first one man thanks for watching the video straight through and klish klisher k 
K-L-I-S-H-E-R, Klisher. I don't know if I'm saying it right or if I'm butchering your name up. But thank you. Thanks for watching the video, man. Shout out to both of y'all. All right. Let's go. Let's get it. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Let's go.